I was having lunch with a girlfriend of mine who had taken Christine's class and I was telling her that um, I wanted to write a book but I was having a really hard time with um, I don't even know what you would say. I, I felt embarrassed. I felt like as I was walking around, everybody was looking at me knowing that I was trying to write a book and they were laughing at me, you know? And so I thought, and, and then the other part of it was I thought, I'm writing a book for no reason because it'll never get published and the whole process is more of an exercise for myself, but I had no expectation of it ever going anywhere. And, uh, and I was telling this to my, my friend and she said, uh, you need to take this class with me. <laughs> They were very helpful. It was nice to kind of get to know her before actually seeing her. And uh, it was nice getting kind of an overview of her philosophy and what she was doing. So we just didn't go in cold. We could kind of hit the ground running. So I knew what to expect that very first day. The group coaching sessions were really, really wonderful. I liked hearing uh, other people's situations and and being able to be objective about it and still learn from it because they were you know real situations that these people were going through and and some of them were very charged so it's interesting to watch Christine navigate and help them navigate through those situations without feeling like I was you know on the hot seat so it was nice I loved when she was talking about um, calcified emotions or cal calcified situations and how we, we need to kind of unravel those knots. And it was, it, it was an interesting image for me to think of something getting calcified because physically when something gets calcified, that's bad. And then to look at, oh, emotionally and energy-wise, when something gets calcified, that's bad too. But I'm the only one that can do anything about my own sort of emotional calcification. <laughs> It was surprisingly easy to take what I learned from what she said to other people and apply it to my own situations. I could feel various knots, old and sort of new knots, kind of unraveling. Very, no, I don't want to say easily because that doesn't. It, it's it. It's a process. It's going through the method, and once I would go through the method with the various things that were bothering me, it uh, it freed up a lot of a lot of energy, and it was nice. And I haven't found myself driving my car and spinning about old or new injustices since having taken the course. I don't, I don't waste that energy or that time anymore, which is really, it's, it's made a big, big difference. Because, you know, you, you just spend so much time in traffic and in the car, and there'd be so many times that I would get so wound up about something somebody said 10 years ago, and then when I'd get home, that energy would inform everything else I would be doing at home. And and it would kind of mess up a good chunk of the day without me sort of being aware that that's why the day had gotten off track because I was fuming about some 10-year-old indignity. <laughs> there were a few. There was one that I really liked where she said you can't, um, you can't manage another person's feelings or emotions. So you can't decide what you're going to do or how you're going to behave or how you're going to approach a situation based on what they may or may not feel or may or may not do. Um, you know, they're adults, they'll make their own decisions and you have to make your decisions and that kind of thing. So I thought that was really nice managing, you can't manage other people's feelings. Because there's so many times I'll say, oh, I don't want to do this because she might be angry about blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know if she's going to be angry about blah, blah, blah. I can't. I can't, uh, I can't manage that. I can't control that. So that was a really nice bit that I liked. Um, I've been working on a, uh, a genealogy project with my grandmother-in-law, and um, I had not touched it for about six months because I was in such a place where I was spinning. Genealogy can get really complicated. As soon as I started taking the classes, I was able to sit calmly with a, with a more organized thought process and, uh, and I was able to finish it. And I've been working on this book for three years. So it was nice in the course of a few months to finally wrap it up and get it finished and I just sent it off to the printer a few days ago, so I'm excited. And the other part that was really great 
was I was able to show it to my husband at the end of it and he was able to give me feedback and I didn't get upset with the feedback that he gave me because I usually get very defensive or self-conscious or my feelings get hurt because I think he's saying it's not perfect. I was able to listen to it clearly and objectively without getting wound up. The final thing was um, to genuinely, uh, when people make life decisions that you may not completely agree with, to use that as an opportunity to teach my children about genuine diversity. So, uh, for instance, I would like it if my mother was taking better care of herself, but I can't manage her life and I can't control what she does. And instead of using her as a cautionary tale to my children, <laughs> it would be better to say, this is the way grandma chooses to live and not putting judgment on it and, and just allowing the children to see this is, this is her life choice and this is the way she's going. And, uh, and I thought that was really, really nice because now my kids are five and seven. They're starting to notice, it, notice differences between the way grandma and grandpa live and, and the kinds of things that I tell them to do. <laughs> and, uh, and so instead of making it a good or bad kind of thing to show it as um, uh, choices, options, they're choosing to do this, they're, the, you know, and mommy and daddy are choosing to do that. And, and have them both be valid choices, which I thought was really nice. And it, and it really helps relieve that kind of, why won't my mom take better care of herself? I can just go, she's, she's choosing not to. She's choosing not to, and she's an adult, and that's her choice, and, and it's valid. I've actually brought it up to quite a few people who I feel could benefit from this, whether they, uh, seem to be obsessing over some drama or situation that's going on, maybe not even in their lives, but in the lives around them. I've got quite a few people who are important to me right now who are upset by situations that have nothing to do with them, and they're wasting a lot of energy. And I, I think this course would be tremendously beneficial for a lot of people that I know.